we have been blessed to live in a beautiful country with plentiful wildlife and the foundation is insect life. But if the insects are destroyed, we could lose everything else along with them. Imagine the forest without the birds. We need to understand what is happening to our insects and learn how to restore the natural balance before it's too late. The Druid Project, which stands for Drivers and Repercussions of UK Insect Declines, is doing just that. Scientists and citizen scientists have been observing insects and collecting field data since Victorian times. Converting all this material into a usable form has been a huge undertaking. Can it show how bad these losses are and what are the causes? It's a huge computational task, but the latest machine learning techniques have allowed us to accelerate the process. Now, at last, we can take this vast data and explain patterns across a wide range of insects for the whole of Britain. In the biggest study of its kind to date, we mapped and modelled changes in more than 3,800 insect species in Britain, from the bees, wasps and ants, to the hoverflies, soldierflies, mayflies, dragonflies and beetles. We found that the data allowed us to estimate trends with confidence in 1,677 insect species, and nearly a quarter have declined since the 1970s. But not all insect groups are faring badly, and some, like the dragonflies, have shown signs of increasing or remaining stable in the past 10 to 20 years. As well as using historic data, we have new ways to track current insect numbers. The new improved weather radar at the Met Office enables us to map in 3D billions of airborne insects over vast areas 24-7. The first eight years of this operation show that night flying insects have declined, but there is no clear trend in those flying during the day. By analysing local trends, we found evidence that airborne insect numbers increase in warmer areas and over woodlands, grasslands and towns, and drop where there is light pollution or croplands. Insects are a key source of food for many animals, including bats, stoats, weasels, shrews and the hedgehog. For example, winter moths are a key food source for breeding blue tits. 23 years of the Rothamsted Insect Survey and the breeding bird survey data showed a direct link between moth abundance and blue tit breeding success. It underscores the need for effective habitat management to support insect populations which in turn sustain many common birds. Insects play really important roles as predators of pests, decomposers to keep our soils healthy and pollinators of many of our fruit and vegetable crops. In our towns, urban sprawl is also reducing insect numbers. The good news is that we can all help change this if we make our gardens greener. It's not a hard task. In many ways, it involves doing less. If we avoid cutting the grass, insects will have a roof over their heads and be able to find food. Other insects can visit the flowers that have been saved from the mower's blade. Seen from above, it could look like a survival map and help preserve the life we love. We are engaging with stakeholders across the political, agricultural and industry sectors, making recommendations for positive action. Druid, learning from the past to protect our future.